Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn about Quick Look. So Quick Look has been around for a while. It's the ability to preview what's inside a file without opening it. Basically, you select a file in the Finder, press the spacebar, and you get a view of what's inside. But it's actually more powerful than that. Let's go and take a closer look. So here I have a Finder window filled with documents. Now I can select any one of these documents and then just simply press the spacebar and I get a view of that document inside a little window. Press the spacebar again and it instantly goes away. So it's very quick to be able to go and look at what's in these documents. Now it works for a variety of different types of documents. You saw the images there and you saw what happens when I open a text document up as well. You can also look at sounds and actually play the sound for you and you can look at videos. You can even look at PDFs as well. You can even use it for documents like Keynote documents, PowerPoint, Excel, Word. There's a whole bunch of different things that are supported. And if for some reason the file isn't supported, it will at least show you some information about the file, like the file size. Or if it's a folder, it will show you the number of items in the folder. So one of the coolest things about Quick Look is you don't have to exit it to view other documents. For instance, I'll select this image here and I'll look at it in this Quick Look window. Now I can use the arrow keys without exiting Quick Look and move to other documents in the window. For instance, I'll go down to look at the text file. I'll go down one more to look at this file here, this movie here, and I can go around, look at the sound files, and keep navigating through. And it doesn't matter if you're in list format or if you're in icon format like this, or even if you're in column format, you can basically navigate through your entire structure with Quick Look open, looking at the contents of files. Now different types of files support different functionality inside of Quick Look. For instance, here's a large photograph. I'll bring that up in Quick Look. I can shrink the window down by grabbing the bottom right corner here so you can see it. Now I could also use Option and the scroll wheel on a Mighty Mouse or uh, the Magic Mouse uh, gesture to zoom in as long as I hold down the Option key. And once I zoom in, I can then pan around just by dragging. And that's functionality that's available for pictures. You also have a button down here, Add to iPhoto, for any picture that you view. Down here, you also have a full screen button that appears in most Quick Look windows that will expand the entire thing to take up your full screen. If you select more than one photo, in addition to full screen, you also get the ability to do slideshows. Now, PDF files also allow you to navigate through them. You can use the scroll bar at the right, and this is a multi-page document, as you can see. You could also zoom in. This time with PDFs, you use the Command and Plus button to zoom in and minus to zoom out. Now, if I select a video, I will get a video playback bar at the bottom here. I also get the same thing for sounds as well. Not only does Quick Look work in the Finder, it works in a few other places. You can use it in Time Machine to preview the contents of a file without having to restore it. You can also use it in Mail and iChat to preview the contents of an attachment. Just select the file and press the spacebar. Here's another thing I love about Quick Look. If I select a bunch of items like I have here, press the spacebar to launch Quick Look. Let me shrink that window so you can see it. I can use these arrow keys at the bottom to flip through the items. I can use the play button to play them like a slideshow. I can also press this index sheet button here and see all of the items that I've selected. I can then select one and zoom in on it. Also, when I'm looking at a single item like this, I can double click it to open it without having to go back to the Finder window. Did you also know you can get plugins for Quick Look that allow you to preview the contents of special file types? All you need to do is search for Quick Look plugins online and you'll come up with some. Now, a lot of these will only work in Leopard. They don't work in Snow Leopard, so it's not as useful as it used to be. But you may find some interesting things that you can use. So once you get in the habit of using Quick Look, you'll find it's indispensable and that you use it all the time. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.